welcome back to part 62 of my Western Roman Empire Let's Play, Total War Attila. So, picking things up, we left them last time. The Garamantians have declared war on us once again and attacked us at Markermaid. As you can see, the bounce part is really against us. I doubt we'll win, but we've got a reasonable garrison, so we will fight this one, see if we can whittle down at least the majority of one of their armies. They've got two attacking us right now, but yeah, if we can take out a good chunk of the first army, a little bit of the second one, uh, that'll help slow their advance until we bring our other army back on land. So let's dive on in see what happens and we go as always thanks for your comments advice tactics and suggestions are all greatly appreciated do keep them coming and thanks uh, in particular for all the advice on how i can deal with the huns more effectively in battles a lot of you guys saying don't go for spaghetti lines long lines of infantry go for thicker lines possibly even uh, multiple lines of infantry with reserves if they do break through and a lot of you guys were saying the reason why you thought my center buckled so much um in in that i think it was the second battle against the huns in particular uh was that my balisari were were firing into the backs um of some of my infantry and also go for attacking testudo over shield wall with units that don't have the defensive testudo so yeah thanks for all the advice keep it coming um all that all that advice in particular dealing with the huns is uh, is greatly appreciated and uh, keep the questions coming uh, I haven't really thought which one I'm going to suggest today. Just give me give me a few moments to gather my thoughts. Um, Orders, my lord. While I deploy and I'll I'll pick one from the from the comments. Oh, actually no, I I know the one I'm going to I'm going to pick. So the question for today is if you could go back in time and talk to any any general or military figure, um what would be the one I know key bit of advice you would offer them or what singular question would you ask that specific person and why let me know down in the comment section right we do get deployables because they don't have any troops coming in from the sea which is good they've got their general cavalry coming in from there another cavalry over there um okay well we'll try and catch out someone over here and we'll try and catch out the other cavalry over here if if they come through that way then I think let's just spread out the killing pits by the tower there and more killing pits if I can up here because they will just advance on down um, and then let's just try and slow them as they come around that way then we're going to go for spears spears there and there and now the other one is my general so I prefer to leave you back here. We'll pop the barricade. Ugh. I mean, I oh know. Just I always, I always forget. I always think, oh, I could pop that barricade, but they can actually, they can wander through here, so they can just flank around that way. So no, it's it's gonna be there. We'll pop one archer unit that way. Off fire at will. Wait for them to get close. They have many archers. They've got a couple there. So. Probably have you guys there harassing them as they come on in. And then my cavalry will have you guys hidden here. See if that'll work. And then all of you guys off fire at will. Go there and there. There and there. And then we'll get them to fire once they get close. So let's do that. Try and lure that cavalry in early. If we can. Enemy reinforcements have been right. Spotted. Reinforcements are coming in from way over there. So we should have plenty of time to deal with this first force before those reinforcements come in. Unless they've got a lot of cavalry that's going to charge on forward. There's a chief in here which I'd really like to take out. I, I kind of hoped he would just push forward so that I could then sweep in on the archers the with my cavalry. Oh no, they're, they're coming in now. Good. What I'm hoping is that I can get these extra melee infantry to run on up into into the center keep them safe might also draw them in we don't want to go with this cavalry yet okay they've got a lot of infantry there's a chieftain archers fire need that cavalry to go through the stakes before i can charge Charge, charge, charge. Uh, go for heavy shot. Okay, 
Yeah, general's going through. Enemy general's dead. Lovely. I just didn't take that many losses on that initial... On the cavalry going through. <laughs> it just happened to be the general. Yeah, we're struggling here with my, my troops, so we need to get those archers away. Pronto, I just got to be careful of that patch there. Now I can go. Dart him. Go off the other unit of archers. Starting them. Where's my cavalry gone? They've gone over that ridge. The problem with having the barricade there is I've got to break out to sweep on round to try and push them out with my swords. I can't do that. stuck in here and try and break through break through on this right side that'd be great but I think they're swarming on through a little bit although my ships are now firing which is good come to replenish keep on firing keep doing their stuff cavalry come all the way around now after those slingers. Go for flaming shot. Really push that attack. Actually, from here, they should be able to do the... Um, The whistling shot and if we double that up with the flaming shot can they actually fire though i think they're just it's just saying they're just outside the range A little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. Please let me do whistling shot on them. Yeah, there we go. That should just affect them and not affect my own troops. Oh, they are getting a little bit affected. Although that is huge morale damage. Yeah, they're all going. They're all going. Okay, you guys back to heavy shot. They're all completely broken. Fantastic stuff. Back over here, please. That's huge. That is huge. Leave the spears behind. Go, go, go. You guys proud of me yet? Finally using the uh, whistling shot. Flaming shot combo. <laughs> Our little lion heart's all grown up. <laughs> I finally did it. I listened to you guys and I did it. <laughs> right, flank on round, break them a little bit. We can't get my archers round to hit here unless I brought them round on the ground, perhaps. Oh, no, you know, we're not going to be able to do that in time. I've got to, I reckon I can break these guys before those spears come in, though. Oh, 
Gould. They'll just get around behind them. Then we hit them hard. Dart him. Charge. 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 Leg, leg, leg. Yeah, big breaking. Honestly, love to charge you down with my cavalry, but right now, I can't. They've got their cavalry nearby. Although, they're really going to stop me. Get you guys back inside. Exactly the same thing with these ships. Go, cavalry, go. Just get a little charge in there to crack them open a little bit, and you can flank on round. Thing is, this army was a full stat. That first one wasn't quite a full stat, but we, we might still be if we can if we can rout a buttload of units like that again. That'd be grand. I think my general might need to step into the action a little bit. And keep you guys to support them there. Start replenishing now because you can still fire while you replenish. Kill as many of them as you can. Good job, cavalry. There's archers as well to deal with if they're going to throw in their cav, which it looks like they are going to. So we'll send the cavalry up that way. Ole. That one's getting hit pretty effectively. We need all of them to clump on in here first. Can we come up here now? Don't worry about chasing down the remnants. What are we at to, up to? We're 1,448. Okay, they've, they've got double our number, but that's, that's fine. We can beat those odds for sure. Send you guys in. We've got to have more of them bunched up so we can actually hit them because we won't be able to reach those. We need them piled up behind a little bit more. They're sending actually most of their troops in here, which is not ideal for us. Need that cavalry to engage as well. Hit that one together in the back. Heavy shot. Nice stuff. Break them. My cavalry's there. It's not hidden. Not in the trees enough. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be here. That's the uh, the trouble. I actually think we've already done enough to the rate at which we're losing troops compared to the enemy. I think we're gonna be falling. change things over now. Ready for... Charge. Speed. Engage. The 
ship has nothing more to fire. Yeah, you're you're gonna be replenished. A few seconds like that. Cavalry's engaged. Time to go after the desert bowman, please. Throwing everything we can over here. Keep firing. Ammunition replenished. Come on, you can fire. That's it. Whistling shot. And flaming shot. Double morale penalty. General. Push. Do it. They're wavering. Keep pressing the desert bowman. Yeah, we've got this. Oh boy, and this is why we fight these these battles, even when the balance power is against us. Because <laughs> we can pull off victories. Can be done. Rome wills it. That one's broken because of the they've been hit by the whistling shot. Come on, guys. Fire, damn it. There we go. There's a whistling shot coming in again. That one's just gone. Oh, crap. Sorry, cavalry. I'm pulling you out. It's actually a really bad idea. But if I can get into some of those troops around there, I might be able to. Yeah, that one's folded. Good. Heavy shot. Replenish up. And then once they've replenished again, we'll land with them. Because now it's time to flank here. And get ready to break in that way. Because these guys are going to start to struggle a little bit. Flank him. Come on. Ooh, that's a big break right there. Okay, maybe we don't have enough troops. Come on. Are we just, just lacking enough Leo Comitensis? they bring that general down trouble that could finish us we've done enough either way we've done enough damage if we don't win this we've definitely done enough okay one on whistling one on flaming. Hit that one at the back. Might break all of those guys in there. We just need their morale to be low to then charge in with these guys. It's super risky. Turn it around. You got to go. Got to go. Try not to fire over my own troops. Just hit that one there. Come on. Come on. Uh, don't break. They've broken there. Last a little bit longer. No, my morale's gone there. I wonder if the combo, though, can just keep breaking them. I need you guys firing with whistling shot right now.
Pull him back. Get him out of the fray with that one. We're about to be out of ammo, though. Got to go for it, haven't you? Shred it. Heavy shot. In its backside. No, we're going to be just a couple of units shy of being able to break them all. Can't do whistling shot against that because it'll break that last one there, I reckon. Oh, we're out of ammo. Get a clear line of sight. Oh, so close. I thought we had it, you know. I thought we had it. We just buckled a little bit too much over here. Couldn't quite do it, but their army is fairly battered. I don't know how many have recovered that we haven't killed. Oh, boy. Yeah, can't do a clear line. Damn it. Oh, so very close. 100%. This is why we're fighting. They lost 3,352. They've got 2,248 remaining. Okay. What's the general? I mean, they're, they're really broken up. The second army, not as much, but we were able to break them enough. They're just going to sack it. Oh, beautiful. We can bring our other force on to hit that. We might have to hire some more mercenaries, more camel mercenaries, but we should be okay. Okay, the Huns with their raising. I do like a bit of raising. That's all they're doing. Good. Just baby steps. Keep blocking that army at the back, I think. So if they are going to push forward with two. Um, they won't be reinforced by the third. We'll be able to deal with those two. And then push on from there. Machine failure. Over here. Okay, and yeah, we've got the Danes to deal with now as well. Drunk on watch. High spirits. <laughs> it's okay. We can... We want to take Vienna, and then that'll complete Narbonisa, so we'll hold on to it this time. Last time I liberated it for Septimania, but that's okay. So we'll send a force over to deal with that. Um... Ready for battle! They can't hit me this turn, which is good. They're taking attrition in the winter. Attila, I don't know how long does it take for him to recover and bounce back. After I assassinate him. Now, you guys said we, you do not, um, you don't have to wait until 432 for him to die or like he, he can be killed before then. Uh, the general consensus is actually that you can... You, some of you said you were able to just keep on assassinating him, but I don't think that'll be that much fun uh, with my spies. So um, I will come from the we might assassinate him once more so we face him in battle. We only have to face him once. Critical success. Nice. So they're blocked completely there. I am yours to fear we'll just keep misdirecting them seeing as they're trying to move around in two separate groups. That should be fine. I don't know where those other hordes are going to come from. You guys were saying up here, so we'll see if we see more coming. Hold at Aquilia, though. The, that army sorted with two more Balistari. But yeah, we should just have to defeat Attila either in battle three times or have wounded him several times before and then fight him in battle a couple of times and then should go. It'll basically, if you fight him, if you fight the battle manually, it will come up once you defeat him on the field of battle. Um, his actual unit and then sort of kill him. It'll say he's been wounded rather than killed. Keep doing that until the message come up saying he's been killed, basically. Uh, general, uh, yeah, through that one and that one. Then we go on to Vanguard afterwards. Yep, yep, yep. Um, 
We hunger for battle. That's that force. Yep. Yeah. Oh, once if you're saying keep an eye on sex, uh, not sex, sorry, Stilico. Yeah, his uh, grandson. Have him lead his his former legion. Definitely. You're not particularly great as a commander. Likes his wine. I don't know if we'll do that. I think we'll lead through Stilico. So this one. Secundus. Ugolanus. Uh, Fundanus. Okay. Fun. So yeah, when he comes of age. 20. Or when he shows up, then we'll use him. Okay, skills. Are oh, the veteran in there? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we got training or just military supply replenishment rates. Training per experience. Yeah, and that one. There we go. So you guys are good. So general consensus was hold at Aquilia, obviously, with the army. And we've got the solid garrison there. Hold with that one. Hold another army back at Verona. And then another at Mediolanum. Possibly one at Ver uh, Ravenna as well, but that, that gives me one army spare. We would have to build this one up. Um, so we've got the Elite Palatina, the Her uh, Herculani uh, Seniors. Probably mix them in with spears. I might even go for a few more spears, actually, I think. And then there's room for actually one more unit, which would be a large Onager. The Scole uh, Palatine. Palatine, rather. Excellent attack against cavalry. So they would replace the... They, they're better than the Del Marte, aren't they? Those guys have a missile attack. Or are these guys more like an upgrade from Cataphracto? They're, they're a separate unit. They're not an upgrade. These guys have the Pr Promoti, don't they? Oh, we get that next turn. Okay, so yeah, don't worry about them. Oh, and the Scole um, Gentiles replace the Cataphractari. So we can upgrade them as well. Ready for battle. Good, good, good. Your um, we don't want anything from there. So yeah, we'll leave that one spot for a large Onager. Then that's that army sorted. So then that frees up this one, which is led by Sextus. Um, the other armies have kind of got it covered. So I think with Sextus, we'll leave that one at Ravenna for the moment to build up. Because it needs to replenish. Sextus can actually get moving over here to go after the Danes. I'm going to risk force marching him, even if the Danes are at Vienna, just because he'll be in range of the settlement get some extra reinforcements if they come down and attack him. But I think they took that a little while ago, actually. So that should be fine. Um, right. Yeah, here we go. Here's my army. I get it over to Markermaids. This army in there with the garrison. Is that a wise decision? Would stop them continuing to attack. They might just come and attack me, but I reckon with that we should be okay. So... Do that. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. I can't reach out to actually attack, so we'll stay in the settlement. We can get some mercenaries. Um, otherwise, our only option is more spears. Uh, mercenaries are coming straight away, so... Um, let's get some... Actually, excellent attack against cavalry has missile weapon. Yeah, let's get you, let's get the camels. Well, the unit of archers and we'll get them in there as well. Boom. We'll hold with that. If not, chase them down. Break them. Uh, public order. You guys are upset with us because that's just being hit. So, get what we can repaired there. And that's basically everything. There's a rebel army coming up here. Might have to bounce my army over to deal with that. But otherwise, yeah, not much we can do. Hispania. I've given you the war target of the Huns, haven't I? Try and go after them for me. I don't know if they'll actually move or not. But we'll keep an eye on it. Um, ah, yes, my navy over here. Navy, 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 navy. We will want, I think, just because we know they do the job, get another ramming ship in there. Because we'll probably have the Danes sailing across to us shortly. We we'll need to ram their ships down. They're thankfully going after the Franks. I don't think the Franks are going to be a problem for us anymore. It's their last region, and the Danes are going for it. So. Welcome. Speed. Just need to break the Danes a little bit. Um, and then hopefully they will crumble. Hopefully. 
See if there's anyone else that's friendly. Visigoths are improving because we're now at war with the Huns. You are welcome, Ortho, my ancestors and people. Okay, right. I think that's all we need to do. Let's end the turn. Oh, yeah, and you going in there trying to find their agents. Oh, and another spy moving up. Yeah, slow them down. Dane's going to do anything? So they're pulling back from their southern... Oh, they're, they're going back down. Okay, they've got one sieging it, and so they're going to send the rest against me, I guess. Garamantians are pulled back. I'll probably keep trying to push against them if I can gain a bit more ground close to the Sassanids, although we've got a reasonable defensive position here. I may not want to push too much. Okay, yeah, other, other hordes coming in now that have respawned. Okay, hostile agent activity. Yeah, we are. Oh dear. Right, right. Is it because I've recruited too many units? I think so. Please do term of office on everyone. Come back to that in a minute. Oh, I wonder if I can convert this one. Join your cause. Uh, not a great one. Uh, isn't... Uh, I always forget. What's the... What's the order? Oh, they've stopped me here. I am sure we will be able to come... To I just stopped him. Oh, sweet shite. Hunnic Devil Cavalry. I mean, that's an army that we want them to attack a settlement and then break them against it. That in the open field will be disgusting. Hunnic devil, they definitely are the devils. Okay, that one's separate from the other one. I want to slow that one down now. I will come from the darkness. So it's one of the... Uh, I am yours to one of the new armies that spawned in, I think. Spreading or replacing the ones we defeated. Chance to assassinate? Mm, not really. 30% chance to be manipulated. I'd rather, you know what, I'd rather go find you. Would that I the other Han armies. And I can't see them. Okay, fine. Um, This one, you're going to go over there to get your honor get. Although, at the moment, we definitely can't do that. Oh, and it's about to rebel, so jump in there. Stop that for a bit. Got a while for that. Yeah, you guys are saying I should try and go for that one when I can because it's what a single term. We've got all the tech for it. It's, that, it's 25,000 though, but we get the uh, Cornuti uh, Seniors, which replace the Western Auxiliary Palatine, so giving better spearmen. That would probably be a fair, fairly useful. Um, to have. Repeat cost for mercenaries. A cost for all units. Yeah, that one. Billeting. For that, we'd have to go through defensive logistics, which we also need that one. Defensive depth. More campaign movement range. We could go for some of these, but they take so long. I think we should just focus on grabbing territory back, which hopefully by taking back Vienna. Well, actually taking it for ourselves. We're not going to liberate. We're going to hold on to it because we already hold the rest of the region. We will just occupy. We can do any that's made our income worse. Do we need sanitation here? Or are we okay still? We've got... Actually, we don't have anything for sanitation. No. Garrison quarters. Um, I mean, on the border... 
Um, well, from culture, though. How's our food here? Uh, just about okay. Oh, it's it's also probably my sh these ships, isn't it? Let's get rid of the mercenary ones. Although, actually, no. Hang on. It's also be these the camels. I wonder if can we peace out with the Garamantians again? Be welcome. Yes. Fix. Well met, friend. Say. Ah, oh, I was really hoping they would do that. Then keep improving. They will. Okay, well, Garamantians, we're no longer with them, so we can get rid of the mercenary cav again. Um, must, let's just get rid of all of them that we've picked up. All mercenaries from this force. Then we're just positive for the moment. There's a rebel army there. It's not terrible yet. We should leave it there a turn. I'm just thinking if the Danes sail on down, can we deal with them with just these guys? I mean, probably, plus the garrison we've got. Let's get rid of them. Plus the garrison we've got, which is still broken and battered. It's giving us a little bit more. Um, right, I need to follow those other Dane armies. Why are they taking attrition? Integrity is fine. Not quite sure. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's all the units I've been recruiting as well. And if I upgrade you guys, how much more expensive is that going to make them? 286. Okay, so I can't afford to do that just yet. Oof, that adds nearly 100 to them. I've got to get some money. So with that being the case then... I don't want to move too many more. I was thinking I could move another army away to really push back and take some land from the from the Danes. Go through and smash and grab all their settlements. We can do that with this one. I think this one might just have to go it alone, though. Could send this one, but yeah, I mean, that large army got to be 570 upkeep. It's not getting that, is it? Don't even know if we've got any stuff. Um, any income buildings going anywhere? I don't think we've got many construction projects actually Ready for orders. If we Ready push we can always come we can always get back can't we we will take attrition though through the through the mountains so we'd have to wait another turn anyway we leave that one there we've got the onager Let's have that one ready to move through because we can move on Vesontio. Pull back, perhaps. Okay, let's do another end turn. Oh, no, we do need to do everyone into their positions as well. Uh, we do that. Public order and corruption reduction. Good. Yeah, although I'm not going to be able to afford to put anyone in a position, am I? Oh, that's probably, that's probably what's affected it as well. We had the upkeep, didn't we? Anyway, yeah, your... Master of Officers, Construction, All Regions, Supreme Commander. Actually, I want you that if you're, you're leading armies. Can't start getting him into stuff. Was it? It's a Master of Soldiers, isn't it? Upkeep. That's what will have done it. You're currently there, but you can be pushed up. Have a promotion. Right, we've got that filled, so then come back up. You go through Master of Foot. Can't do anything else. Um, replenishment, earning... No, we don't need anyone else going in those, really. Not at the moment. Imperial Master of Horse. I don't think we've got anyone for those. Come back up to the top. Oh, no, you can go in that one. Don't have another Supreme Commander, do we? Nope. Okay. Right. Yeah, let's end the turn. That should see our income jump back up a bit. Yeah.
come the Danes. No, they're pushing back up to Flevum. I mean, that, that that's good. Don't keep all your forces down here because then I can just roll through your settlements quickly and grab some more territory, which, yes, I'll have to hold on to myself and defend from enemies, but we need to... We, that's our main way of gaining more money in, in this situation, I think, is by conquering more territory. I mean, we could, could push out from Britannia and grab some of that territory, but... So the Huns are coming in. That is Attila. He's back. Um, so what we actually really want to do is slow down all the other armies but Attila and have him charging on in on his own so we can easily pick him off. So we'll try and slow down those other two armies. And then we will... Um, try and pick the rest of them off. Okay, Separatists back. Okay. Oh, sh shite. Okay, the rebels are going to get that. So that's where my army needs to go after we dealt with the other re rebellion. We do have walls here, uh, but two large onikas. You guys let me know in the comment section. I actually have a feeling that this one is not worth fighting. I don't think there's much we can do with onikas. I mean, we can still land troops, though, and pull back to the center bit. Hmm. Let me know in the comments section. Anyway, until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.